Welcome to Power Driven Diesel. In this episode, we're going to be testing BorgWarner's new SXE362 turbo. This particular turbo on this engine has the .70 housing, uh, wastegated T3 housing, also has the 68 millimeter turbine wheel. Uh, BorgWarner made a few upgrades to the SXE line over their past SX uh, line. Uh, all these turbos, SXEs, comes with billet compressor wheels. They have a new design compressor cover, which they picked up a lot of flow through. And also, uh, they changed the oiling on these turbos. They're actually a stronger turbo. The oil flow path is, is better than the, the past. And they all come standard with a 360 thrust bearing, so they're very, a very strong turbo. And so what we're going to do in this turbo is we're going to do two tests. We're going to do just the weight of the dyno roller, which is about 3,500 pounds. And we're going to run that from 1,300 RPM up to about 3,200 RPM, get a full range and see what this turbo does across a wide range of RPM. Uh, after that, we're going to do a, a loaded run at about 5,000 pounds of load, and we're going to do a roll-on test, and we're going we're to graph that one on time so we can see how quickly does the turbo respond. We'll start that roll-on about 1,800 RPM, and we're going to see how long it takes for that turbo to build boost uh, so we can kind of get an idea of the lag of this turbo. And uh, So with that, we're going to go over to the, start this truck and do our first uh, run unloaded from 1,300 to 3,200 RPM. Okay, we got the graph pulled up here now. Let's take a look at what she did here. What did, what did it make for max power? Uh, 562. And uh, what for torque, about 1283. Uh, made peak power about, what RPM here? About 22, 2300 RPM. And it held it pretty good. Held it really good at about 2600 where it starts to fall off. So that's an unloaded run, 560 horsepower. That's pretty, pretty common. I'd say that's about right. We've done a few, a fair amount of testing with this turbo. That's about what we'd see in this turbo. This truck we have has plenty of fuel. Uh, we've got it turned down with ASC Live because it's got way more fuel than this turbo can handle. But uh, around 550, 560, 70, depending on the day. It's a pretty hot day here today, so I'm not gonna get the best numbers, but you know, figure 550 to 575 horsepower for this charger. And uh, now we're going to go do a roll-on test and see what kind of uh, time it takes for this thing once we give it uh, fuel to see how long it takes to start building boost. So here we go.
Okay, as we pull the graph up on this, uh, let's check out our time. Well, first off, what kind of power do we make? With the load, it looked like it held the load, the power really good, nice and flat. 550. So, we lost a little bit of power, but that's mostly because the engine's warm from the last run. I mean, that heat affects everything. So, um, what I'm curious about is we can see this time it takes to spool up. So, that's right where, we, right where I rolled into it until about peak torque happens about three seconds later. Now, that's on a full run, but so that's kind of how fast it spools up at 1800 RPM. It takes about three seconds to go from uh, unlo no, no spool to up to peak torque. And um, really, it's pretty. It's pretty for this turbo. That power level that's very decent. Uh, this is a very good value. Uh, these turbos are a very good value for what they give you, uh, performance-wise, uh, for the dollar. And anyway, this is in the 0 .70 housing, a 68 turbo. It's kind of what you can expect with this with this turbocharger. And I uh, hope it was helpful. Thanks.